Hi, I'm Allison from Move Smart and Boomerang, and today we're gonna to do a nice relaxing shoulder series to keep you stress-free over the holidays. I have to manage my microphone so that I don't roll all over it. So come on down to the floor. Set your knees up in whatever way works for you, legs stacked, something between your knees or top knee on the floor. And you absolutely could add a small weight or a resistance band to this. I wouldn't go heavy weight because we're gonna be doing compound shoulder movements, but a little extra resistance if that feels good to you, totally works. Start by setting your trunk so your ribs stay pointed at the ceiling and your chest stays pointed forward. Slide your arm up to the ceiling and then let it drift back to a place that feels comfortable for you keeping your chest pointing straight forward. And then start to spin your arm from your fingers all the way to your shoulder, staying in ranges that feel best for you. So if you're hypermobile and you can go really far, maybe play with finding a really, um, as, as stress-free a range as is available to you. If you have a shoulder injury, you're gonna keep this obviously in a, in a pain-free uh, series of movements. And then pause with your palm facing the ceiling and go to a half windmill. Slide your arm down towards your hip and up towards your ear without letting your trunk move. We're gonna add rotation in a minute, but for the moment, we're just looking at moving your arm in your shoulder socket. Three more. You could use your hand on your ribs to just check and make sure you haven't rolled back if you want keeping your neck nice and relaxed. And then bring your arms all the way forward and we're gonna add some twists. So now you are gonna move your, your sternum. Slide your fingers along your arm, along your chest, open your arm out towards the wall behind you, let your head and neck go with you, and then curl your fingers forward, bend your elbows, slide your fingers along your chest, along your arm, along your hand, and reach your finger, top fingers a little bit forward and repeat that. We're gonna do three of these. And you'll hear me say this over and over again, but find the way to do this that feels best for you, not that's necessarily the biggest range you can achieve. You get no extra bonus holiday relaxing marks for pushing yourself too far. So now from here, we're gonna go for one of my favorite exercises, which is clocks. Make sure that if you've got something behind your head, most of it is behind you. And then watch your elbow as you roll up and around. You may well want to let your arm come off the floor behind you, but do let it relax onto the ground when it's in front of you. Sweep up and around. Again, we're not looking for you to push through discomfort. The goal here is to give you a few minutes where your holiday season is as comfortable and easy as possible. So you let your arm come up as much as you need to for your shoulder to feel comfortable. And then change directions. Slide your arm down towards your hip, around behind you. Lift your arm if you need to. And don't forget to move your head and neck. The shoulder movement is way easier if your head and your neck and your chest and your ribs and spine are all moving together. One more time. And we do have one more exercise that we're gonna do, but we're gonna do it at the end. So pop yourself around and we'll do the other side. You can just roll over. I need to flip. So same thing, nice and stable in terms of your chest and your ribs. Take your top arm up towards the ceiling and then slide it back without moving your chest and rotate your fingers. Rotate your forearm, rotate your elbow all the way to your shoulder. Head and neck relaxed and supported. One more. Pause with your palm facing forward. Keep your arm draping back to whatever is the appropriate range on this side, which might not be the same as it was on the other side. 
and five half windmills sliding from your hip to your head and back down noticing so i'm much more likely to tip to twist back on this side because i'm more more restricted on this side and the shoulder so you might need to use a little bit of abdominal to keep your sides of your ribs pointing straight up and not let them tip back or you may need to just acknowledge that your range is smaller on this side that's okay it's not the same from side to side i think that was five so now we're going to go for some rotation both hands start out in front of you bend your elbow as you slide your fingers along your arm along your chest and roll out towards the wall behind you take a breath and then roll back in and reach forward twist pause come back to center one more time And now we go for three clocks where we start by going up towards your head and around towards the wall behind you. Relaxing your arm and letting it fully drape onto the floor when it's in front of you and then acknowledging that you may need to bring it up away from the floor when you are in the back quadrant. There's usually one spot that's particularly snug. You could certainly pause there and just do a little, a little exploration of that tighter spot if you want. Pause with your hands one on top of the other and then change directions. Down towards your pelvis, around towards the wall behind you, up overhead, And last one, circle, keeping your top leg heavy on the floor or on your other knee. And then from there, roll over onto your back. You could keep the thing behind your head, cushion or pillow or half dome or yoga block or whatever you've been using, if that feels good to you, or you can take it out, whichever you prefer. You do wanna feel some weight to the bottom of your ribs, kind of from your bra strap down or heart monitor area down so if you lie on your back and your ribs pop all the way up towards the ceiling a little something behind your head will will help that and then reach your arms up towards the ceiling find a position where your shoulder blades feel nice and stable on your rib cage they're not all the way up off the floor but they're also not collapsed in towards your spine happy mid spot slide your arms out to the sides and we'll do snow angels so you want to keep your arms a little bit off the floor. Imagine you are in three or four inches of snow. So you have to work a little bit the front of your chest to hold your arms off the floor as you're stretching those muscles at the same time. Three. And two. last one and then bring your arms down by your sides you can keep your knees bent or you can bring your legs down flat on the floor whichever you prefer and do a little check-in for extra tension relax your feet relax your legs your pelvic floor check in for extra tension in your belly and around your ribs ask your brain to just let go of that tension Release the weight of your arms onto the floor, your fingers and your hands. See if you can identify, is there extra held tension in your neck that you could abandon because you don't need it? And then relax your face, relax your eyes, your chin, your jaw, your tongue. Take a breath in and let it go. And from there, you can either have a nap 
or you can carry on with your day. If you are in fact watching this during the holidays, happy holidays to you. And if you're watching it at any other time, happy relaxmas. See you next time.